Hello brothers and sisters, Jack Talcott here again. So as I was about to head out the door, I was giving some thought to uh, symbolism and consciousness because that's what I do on my Saturday mornings. But as I'm working through these thoughts, I thought there might be value. So I'm going to record it and we'll see where we end up. Symbolism is a subject of attention, or excuse me, symbolism is the meaning that is assigned to a subject of attention, of focused attention. And so therefore the symbolism is the meaning. Our life, if you, if you listen to the spiritual teachings and to those other people who have, who have studied this, our life is concert, consciousness. Consciousness is thought. So any subject of attention is a thought, is a focus of the thought. So our existence is revealed through the symbolism of our physical surroundings. Through the symbol that is generated by the expression of our physical surroundings and our physical environment. What exists becomes our symbol in our heads. Now the symbolism, the meaning assigned to all of these symbols, people, things, activities, rumors. All of these things are symbols. Now the meaning assigned is, is from our thoughts. So we decide if things are good or bad. We assign those meetings to the symbols that we see, but therefore as we continue, our life is the symbolism of the symbols that are, that are created and manifested in our existence. And in our existence, we create symbols for meanings, for symbolisms, for the purposes of sharing. Ah, oh, it's quite bizarre and unique. I don't know if any of this makes any sense to you, but I think it's starting to in here. Life is is a perception, but it's a perception with control of of what we think. We've got free will. And, and we have a choice in our existence throughout our lives to make choices collectively throughout that span of time to contribute to the uh, side of good for the organism that is this planet and its inhabitants, our animals, plants, and peoples. We can contribute on the side of good or we can be, follow the path. I'm trying to remember MLK. We can be selfish. And then our life does not amount to good. <laughs> but we can make the choice, change the way you see the symbols in your life, find a way to find gratitude for those things. <laughs> Recognize that those things are what make you who you are. Those things are opportunities for you to imagine and to try to become and achieve everything that you can achieve. You know, I'm, I'm probably going to post this for a few minutes. I got weirder videos up already, so... We'll see if you guys have any thoughts on my explanation. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but life is confusing. And to explain life in less than five minutes, I think I did a pretty darn good job. Not only that, but tips on tips you can use. Hopefully. Uh, live without fear, my friends. God bless. Life is... Life reveals itself through the experience, and the experience is revealed through life, so we get free will of choice. We have free will of choice. What do you want to do? What do you want to become? Where do you want to go? Who do you want to meet? What do you want to learn? How 
many people can you help before you're done? All right. God bless. Like, subscribe, do that analytical data stuff. Share. And please, let's have some discussions.